So Carrie, on our class 104, we're going to we're going to use a Sun Odyssey uh, 479. It's 47 feet, and you're going to die when you see the inside. First thing you notice is a huge table. There's your nav station. Um, if I open this up right here, there's a generator. So the generator can run the AC, and you see the vents over there. The table is huge. Uh, I've not been on a table this big in any of the sailboats, and I've been on four sailboats. The galley is also huge. The refrigerator or ice box combo. Tons of food. We're getting ready for a trip tomorrow. And it's deep, it goes all the way down. It's got a freezer. Remember, this thing runs on generator. Sink. Sink. I want to show you how clean the bilge is. All of these. Uh, uh, the entire sole uh, is compartments everywhere. So I just decided to look in here. Look at the bilge. Look how clean. So we, we could actually store cans of food down here. Take the labels off. So the labels don't go into the bilge pump. Um, it's got a berth there, half berth there. Each one of them has a head. Move into the V-verse, got two suites. And just to show you how spacious it is, I mean, I have still have a, a half a foot before my head hits and I'm moving forward. Now there's a hanging locker. Here is what a bathroom looks like. The switch to turn off the light is all over above your head. So my understanding is that pulls out it becomes your shower and you just shower. Um, the only thing I'm noticing that it's a manual pump. So and this might be a saltwater toilet, but tons of, tons of space. Here we go. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. It's supposed to come out and, oh well. But look at all the storage. And there is a vent from the AC back there. Go back out. More forward. Um, it'd be interesting to know what this is. I haven't looked yet. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely gorgeous. I like that whole thing that everything here is storage. I mean, for things that you know can get wet, it's perfect. I'm not gonna open the motor, but it, it's probably gonna be a 40, 50 horsepower. A lot of headroom. I mean, look at this. I'm, I'm at the height of my eyes, and I have still have headroom. Oh my gosh, look at all the storage over here. I know you, don't, you can't see it, but... Um, Oh yeah, this is nice. Let's see if I can open this one up. Yeah, that one does open. There's your hanging locker. Get these blinds. Continuing the tour. Look at this galley. Look. Now I'm going out. This is extremely wide right here. The same type of table. There's compartments here, that storage. Um, table folds out. Got to I'm not gonna go through everything because it's very similar. Your motors here, it's all Ray Marine. Even has an autopilot. Um, here's looking forward. Uh, one thing we did notice is this uh, backstay is very loose. Um, but notice that if you want to look at the uh, manually look at the. Uh, um, you know the wind vane up there the the venom top has these views same compass over here 
The only difference is the other side has more instruments and obviously no throttle, all the lockers. And this right here is your ports for your bedrooms. And I love how you can store your, uh, your winch handles here. Beautiful winch, all the clutches, very neat. You also have a port right here, a hatch right here, and a hatch over here. That room is not turned on so you can't see it. Um, but it's just, this is a house. Anyway, continuing. I'm on the, uh, coming up, look, everything's hidden. There's your traveler, your boom. I'm telling you that, that um, in the mass furler, I wasn't a, a much of a fan of it. it. It took me a while to get used to it, but I guess I would. Um, it it took me a while to get used to it. it it's it's kind of tough to get it out, and I'll explain later. But he's got the hatches on, uh, opened. There's the two beavers. I'm assuming this is a storage locker. I can only guess. And. Uh, it looks like the windlass is outside. Let's see what this is. This is obviously this is the uh, the anchor chain locker. But it's a gorgeous boat. Hope you enjoy.